Hey, I'm with Marlins shortstop Miguel Rojas. Miguel, the Marlins surprised a lot of people making the postseason last year. Were you surprised? No, to be honest with you, I wasn't surprised. Last year uh, wasn't just a fluke. Uh, I remember in spring training, we was playing really, really good baseball. Uh, set the tone early in camp with a couple guys uh, um, getting the first opportunity to be in camp like Jazz Chisholm, Monte Harrison. I remember Ethan Diaz was playing really good at the time. And uh, the additions that we have last year, to be honest with you, like Jesus Aguilar, Brandon Kinsler, and guys like that help this club so much because uh, uh, young players with a lot of talent, they, we, know, we knew they were coming up. But at the same time, it was a combination of uh, a lot of talent with uh, the right veterans in the clubhouse. Do you feel having a season with Starling Marte healthy is going to be a big help for you guys too? Yeah, I mean, last year you you saw like what what big part of the this team uh, Starling Marte is. You know, he went down uh, against the Cubs, and we really need him against the Braves. You know, it's not the same lineup without him in the lineup. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see Starling Marte every single day in the top of our of our um, lineup and, and doing big things for us because the guy can hit, can run, can play defense, and it's a big access for our, for our club. Miguel, the season didn't end the way that the Marlins wanted it to. What did you learn from last year that will help you in this year in 2021? Then there's a lot of things that we can get better at. Uh, you know, when we, uh, we, we, got, we got the series against the Cubs, but then we faced the Braves in, in that in that five game series and we got swept, right? So uh, that tells you that there's a lot of things that you need to get better at so you can compete against the best of the division. So the Braves are, are being in the top of the division for a long time now. It's our turn to uh, continue to get better and trying to uh, that, trying to get to them and, and, and be the leader of the divisions uh, ourselves. You know, you have a great seat playing shortstop. You're looking at, you guys have some of the best young arms in baseball. Tell me a little bit about Alcantara and Sixto Sanchez. Yeah, I mean, those guys are, are really excited to play behind because uh, the guys can sink the ball. Guys can uh, command both sides of the play, and the breaking ball are really good, too. You know, uh, Sixto is a little bit different than Sandy because Sandy is more a uh, sinker, four-seam, uh, slider, change a guy, and Sixto can go just four-seams, change up to everybody, you know? Like, he's... It's continue to develop more pitches, but it's, a, it's an electric guy that you like to play behind. And it is, it's not just those two guys. We got Pablo Lopez, we got Eliezer Hernandez, and uh, uh, Trevor Rogers that made his debut last year. I mean, this rotation right here is sneaky, uh, really good, because uh, they don't have the experience that the other clubs have, but uh, I think the talent is here. Your division has gotten better. The Mets have made some changes. The Nationals should be healthy this year. The Braves are good. Do you still feel this Marlins team will be contending in postseason baseball this year? Yeah, I definitely think that we, we will be contending, not just because of what we did last year, but what I'm seeing now, you know, like I'm seeing a group that is uh, that is together. We've been playing uh, almost a full year together now. We got a, a great addition on Alan Duvall. Uh, uh, we, we're counting on Gary Cooper being healthy. His bat is uh, so valuable in the lineup. And I mean, let, let's see what, what what we can do in a in a full 162 game season. And uh, we're not gonna be shy or 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 scared of what is in front of us because this group is uh, is growing together and we have a lot of confidence. Well, Miguel, wishing you and the Marlins a big 2021 season. 